Hi, Rob here from Marine Industrial. We're here today to talk about Sikaflex 292 High Strength Adhesive. Okay, so 292 is a high strength structural adhesive. Now this is used mainly for uh, areas of construction in marine boat building, which have a lot of dynamic stresses built upon them. Um, we did a video on 291 earlier. If you want to check that one out, just click up here. So 292, we typically talk about for using on things like deck to hull bonding, uh, where again, you're gonna have a lot of dynamic stresses going through the bond line, uh, and you want to make sure that you've got something that really will not fail. In terms of adhesion strength, if you liken it to the Sikaflex 291, you're looking at probably twice the shear strength. So you're looking at around about um, 30 tons per meter squared, uh, which is around about three megapascals, which is a lot. So the open time on Sikaflex 292 is around about 30 minutes, which means based on ambient temperatures of around 21 degrees C, 50% relative humidity, you've got about 30 minutes working time with the product. So as well as being a structured adhesive, Sikaflex 292 is also really elastic. Uh, elongation to break of this product is about 600%, which is pretty high. Again, water cured product, so moisture in the atmosphere, means it's gonna go off. Talking of going off, we're gonna go use some now, so uh, come check this out. Cool, right, so we're gonna apply some Sikaflex 292 down. We're gonna uh, mimic a lap joint uh, using these two pieces of aluminium. So we're gonna talk about the process of where we'd start from, primers and the processes that would need to be involved. Uh, so first off, we're gonna use a Scotch-Brite pad. These are much better than an abrasive disc because they actually scratch the surface, um, increasing the surface area, rather than removing the surface as well as increasing the surface area, which like a sandpaper or abrasive paper would do. But prep-wise, uh, we wanna just go backwards and forwards over the surface of where we just want to bond. So next step is going to be um, applying the 205 um, activator. Now this is a great product, uh, it's an adhesion promoter as well as removing uh, grease and grime. Um, so make sure that when you do use it, you don't get it on areas where you don't want it to be seen because it will leave a watermark. So to use this, lint-free cloth, lid off, bung out. Apply it to the cloth and in a singular motion, pull it back over the surface which you've just abraded. Cool, so we're gonna leave this for five minutes, 10 minutes, just to flash off uh, in preparation for the primer. Right, so we've let that uh, Sikra Activator flash off just five, 10 minutes. Next step's gonna be pre-treatment using Sika Multi Primer Marine. Now this primer can be used pretty much on any substrate uh, in, for bonding and sealing applications. Um, the only way where we wouldn't recommend it would be actually on glass, so that'd be acrylic or mineral glass. We go to some specific primers, which we can talk about in another video up here. So click up here to see that in use. So to apply the Sika Multi Primer Marine, first rule, and it's a really, really good, um, good practice to do this, is actually do not apply a brush into the tin. Uh, we never recommend in introducing foreign objects into the primer itself. Always make sure you decant into a fresh clean pot. Handy bung to keep the product fresh. And we say, roughly speaking, put a date on here with a felt tip pen or permanent marker, um, 30 days, as long as it's within shelf life, after opening, this can be used still. To apply the primer, uh, we've got these uh, they're magic, magic white sponges. They're really, really cool. You can carve them into different shapes if you want to, um, but they wick up enough primer so that you can apply it in a one swift motion, like this, dip it in, and in a single motion, apply it to the surface, pull back, and leave it. Don't keep going backwards and forwards. The product will flash off almost immediately. If you keep going backwards and forwards, it will start boiling up under you. <laughs> Right, so now we can apply the uh, Sika 292. Uh, we've let the multi-primer flash off now for 20, 20 minutes or so. Uh, we recommend a minimum of 20 minutes uh, to allow that to flash off, based at around about 21 degrees C, maximum 24 hours. Realistically, that 24 hours comes from not allowing foreign objects to sort of fall like dust and grime. Um, so minimum 20 minutes, maximum 24 hours. Cool, so we're gonna apply the adhesive now. Awesome. 
together. Now 292 is great because it's got a real high degree of green strength, which means when you push the two objects together, the actual body of the adhesive is, is uh, strong enough so that the green strength, it's got enough, enough guts in it to hold it upright so it won't fall off. I can now pick this up by corner, give it a good old shake, and it's going nowhere. Right, now we've bonded these together. Uh, working time on this is gonna be about 60 minutes between it sort of being hard enough to really start moving it around a workshop. Other than that, we'd leave it 24 hours for full cure. So that's pretty much sums up SIG Effects 292. So if you are in the trade and you wanna find out more about SIGA products or what Marine Industrial can do for you, give us a call on 01692 406 822 or look us up at marineindustrial.co.uk.